And the Bulldogs make their way out. Their destiny is in their own hands. A win today and a playoff spot is secure. They've made a late charge, winning three in a row. 12 wins and 11 losses in 98. Five from 11 away from home. And that was a great win over Melbourne by four in the big wet last week, showing plenty of patience and the defence was rock solid. Illawarra, just four wins from 11 matches at home. Crucial win over Cronulla away last week. They've won 11, lost 11, and had one draw this season. Won two of their last three, beating Cronulla and Newcastle, but lost heavily to Sydney City. There is no Brad Mackay today. He's a late withdrawal, along with the winger Jonathan Britton. Had a disrupted week, not able to train outdoors every day because of the rain here in the Illawarra. So number 18, Jason Hooper, comes in for Britton on the wing. 14, Terry Lamy, comes into the pack for the injured Brad Mackay. The coach is Andrew Farrer himself, a former Bulldog and a very good Bulldog, in fact. Round 24, we're underway. The Bulldogs, a win or a draw, will get them into the top 10 in 98. And it's Illawarra with the first touch of the ball out to Fitzgibbon. He offloads to Lamy over on the far side. The well, sideline is Peter Mulholland. And Pete, what about that breeze? Anything to worry about? Greg, it's... Uh probably going actually across field at the moment towards the uh, the ocean probably if anything it's uh, favoring Canterbury but I just can't believe how this ground has, has come back after the week of, uh, of rain that it's had down here about the game I just think uh, Canterbury have got so much to play for now the destiny is in their own hands and uh, unfortunately for Illawarra it's, uh, it's just got to be a matter of wait and see this is Wilson now Craig Wilson playing his 150th first grade game congratulations for that milestone and Robinson so Gary Freeman, there's the first set of six, and they get a good bounce over in the far side. Not a bad start by the Steelers. Will Robinson comes to the sideline for some uh, treatment as his teammates charge on. Barrett with the double round, got it out to Terry Lamy. This is the best attacking opportunity the Steelers have had. It's given on the angle run, 18 metres out from the line. It's nil all at Wynn Stadium. Barrett running to the defensive line. Oh. Barrett is through! Barrett will score the first try! They fell off him, and Trent Barrett goes in for his 18th try of the season. Yeah, Travis Norton is the man who comes up with the missed tackle, but you see them all start to slide a little bit early. Jason Hetherington is the man who got in front of uh, Travis Norton. That allowed Barrett to go through a little hole there. He just got there too late. Yeah, it certainly was un-Canterbury-like. Usually they like to play an up-and-in defence, but as you said, Wiz, a couple of them just stood there and watched, and he's got too much speed and strength, Barrett, and straight through to score. Craig Fitzgibbon. At 18 in from touch. He's hooked it around to the left. No goal. So the scoreline remains. Illawarra, the Steelers, leading Canterbury four points to nil as Hetherington waits for it. Polamata inside to Price. Taken, in fact, ridden into the turf there by Andrew Hart. Hetherington calls Robert Ralph back on the inside on the angle run. Final tackle coming up. Polamata in position to kick. But they put it through the hands, out to Corey Hughes. He's kicking for the corner. For Leicester! Leicester oh. leaping high, got a hand to it, couldn't control it. Knock on in goal. So we'll come back to the 24 a restart. Oh, this is a great football from both sides. One in defence, the Illawarra side in, in attack. Canterbury really throwing everything at them. Unusual like this, a great little kick by Hughes. I thought he was going to run the ball. Once again, Leicester getting above his opposite winger and Hooper. He comes up with another knock on. Yeah, well, there's a bit of feeling getting into this game, Laurie. Yeah, there certainly is. Canterbury like to, to slow things down a little bit. Illawarra, obviously, are getting a little bit confused with the tactics. But uh, they've done extremely well there to hold them out for six tackles. Now it's Fitzgibbon. About seven or eight metres from halfway. Long oh. pass to Simon, great defence. Underneath it was Matt Ryan. Over the top it was Paul Amounder. Barrett, the try scorer. Not much room to work with on the short side, but enough for them to pick it up. Barrett, it's out to Patton. Patton, Patton for the line. He's in for a try. It's down to the video referee again. Now, he wasn't held there. He's entitled. Well, in fact, I think the momentum carried him across anyway. Yeah, the only thing really to see he's lifted his arm. I don't think the bloke had hold of him, though, Wiz. No, no. I, 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 look, I think it's a try. Yeah, I think he's entitled to get up and have a second shot at that. Oh, mate, I think it's a try, but I think there was great work on the short side there. Oh, Callaway the putting kick. the kick in. Four points to Illawarra, the Steelers. Oh, they went down the short side. Callaway sees they've got numbers, puts it through. Wishart 
is alive. He keeps coming through. Passes the ball on to Barrett. Barrett sees the fullback Luke Patton inside. He's got too much strength and speed and gets across the line. That was just good vision. It was a, a flat play by Illawarra that worked, going to the line, Pete. Yeah, that's exactly right, Gary. Uh, Laurie, the thing with uh, this young Callaway, well, you're not old Callaway now, but I mean, every time Barrett works on that short side, Callaway's there with him, either inside or outside, and then they form the very, very lethal combination around the ruck. It's, it's a great try again. 15 minutes gone. This time it's a better attempt from Fitzgibbon. And that's a very good scoreline for the home side in front of a vocal crowd here today. 10 points to nil, Illawarra over Canterbury. That's a big year in his first year of coaching. Terry Lamb, their hot favourites, the Bulldogs, to win that premiership. And the President's oh. Cup as Price makes a great oh. break. Silver was on his hip, but he couldn't link up with him. It's still on over on the far side, though. Norton, he's held up. That's Somehow great. the Illawarra Steelers managed to scramble back in defence. The Bulldogs desperate for some points. Hughes to Stone. Troy Stone wrapped up. That's four. Seven or eight metres out from the line. Rod Silver up from fullback. Polamanda. They go wide. Trying to keep it alive. Now it's back to Robert Ralph. And the second rower will play it about one metre out. Hughes. The grubber kick in behind the line. Silver's racing for it. Silver wins the chase. And it's high home. Silver, all right. Now he wants to go to the video referee, first of all. There's young Hughes. He just stood there, put the kick in. And I reckon that Rod Silver is onside. Oh, yeah. Very, very <laughs> close. And, but the split, I, I don't know how they're going to make that because at one, he's kicked the ball, then you see him go into this frame. I reckon he's onside by about a metre, is oh. oh, Lawrence. Hey? Oh, you're kidding. No. Just watch the corner of the screen. There's a ball kick now. He's onside. He's onside. Yes. Make it well, the benefit Peter. of the doubt has got to go with the attacking side. In that's that rugby situation, union. That's rugby union. In that situation. It's a try. Oh. A ref's oh. call. It's a try. Here's Stephen Price. This is what all set it up. Stephen Price is going straight through the line once again. A couple of tackles there that should be made by Dean Calloway. Rod Silver's looming, looming up there to score the try. Just couldn't get the ball away. And they go wide. This is very good work by the young halfback to go to the line. Yeah, it certainly was, and uh, he certainly offers a bit more from behind, uh, Rod Silver, doesn't he, Peter? It certainly does, sorry. <laughs> it was a surprise packet there. <laughs> and it's converted from right in front by Daryl Halligan, so 10 points to six. Hughes. This is his brother, Glenn Hughes. Bounced out of one. He'll play it 10 metres inside Illawarra Territory. Thompson. Final tackle. Will they go to the air this time? Hughes, no, just content to nudge it downfield and straight into the arms of Luke Patton. Oh, Patton straight through. They won't catch him. Luke Patton's got a double. Pathetic defence by Canterbury. Luke Patton puts the hand in the air and dives across and puts it down under the black dot. It was a terrible kick. It went straight down his throat. And he just ran straight through them. Unbelievable stuff there. This is Corey Hughes. He goes, I thought he was going to put the ball in there. The little chip across a la Ricky Stewart goes straight in the hands of Patton. He goes straight down the middle. Can't believe it. The defence from Canterbury was just non-existent there. And then it's just a 70-metre race to the trial line. The old left hand comes up. I think he's got his girlfriend up there, Laurie, waving <laughs> out there. So there's a try for me. I think after that, Wiz, he might have plenty more chasing <laughs> him too. What a great, great run there by young Luke Patton. Straight through Rod Silver's tackle. Over the 50, 40. He knows he's going to score the try. Puts the hand up. To the girls in the crowd, no doubt. <laughs> They'll be all after him after the game. <laughs> great work. Coming up to the 30th minute of the first half. The flags are up. Illawarra's confidence is sky high as well. 16 points to six. Great run by Matthew Ryan. Probably deserved a better result, but Canterbury have it again. Now it's Stone over to Norton. Talau gives it to Leicester. Leicester infield. Good strong run by Leicester as well. He's about 11 metres out. That'll be a penalty. He knocked the ball out of his hand. 
So the penalty goes to Canterbury. They're going to keep the pressure on. I think this is the right move. They need to run the ball. They need to score and try to get back in this match. Back to Corey Hughes from Stone. And Hughes pops it out the back door. Now they've coughed it up. There was no need to do it. It was a second tackle. And Illawarra looked like they were gone. They wouldn't have been able to hang on that long. The kill mistake once again. Corey Hughes. There's the errors. Only five Illawarra. There he is trying to pop the ball out. He's, he's tried hard today, young Corey Hughes, but I suppose that was just a little bit of inexperience there. Well, now Leicester has it. Leicester! He'll score in the corner from an Illawarra mistake. It's a try being awarded to the Canterbury Bulldogs. After they looked as if they made an absolute mess of the previous set, Leicester comes up with his ninth try to remain the Canterbury Bulldogs' leading try scorer in 98. What a mistake here from Illawarra. Yeah, very unusual for Illawarra. They've popped the ball back and they've tried to run the ball. And I think Willie Tallow is the man who gets his hand as Leicester actually knocks the ball down, regathers it, and sprints 15 to 20 minutes to score the try. Very good work there, but I'll tell you what, the Canterbury side were very lucky. Yeah, they certainly were. Leicester's taken a gamble here. He's went for the intercept to knock it down. If he's missed it, Cooper's would have scored down the other end. But he's taken a gamble. It's paid off and good work. He's only missed 12 kicks all season. From out wide, can he raise the flags? <laughs> you better believe it. Oh, what? No problem for the super boot. So 16 points to 12 now. Illawarra over Canterbury. So we're set for a great second half here at Wynn Stadium. Five tries already in the first half. Illawarra showing that they want to finish on a high note. Canterbury, they are desperate. After a shaky start, they'll be breathing a little easier now. The half-time siren sounds. Illawarra leading Canterbury by 16 points to 12. We're underway. The second 40 here. The final 40 of the minor premiership for Canterbury and Illawarra. And Robin Ralph runs it back to about 15 Whoa. metres out from his own line for the Canterbury Bulldogs. Silver dummy half. Barry Ward. As Hetherington waits for it. An acting half. He's going to have a dart out on his own. He'll pick up seven or eight metres. Thrown into the turf there by Bristow. Now it's Darren Britt. McGregor, that is a huge loss for them. Oh, very big loss. Whenever he's playing, I reckon he's worth 10 points to Illawarra. The presence that he gives the team and the attacking options. When he gets the ball, he goes Polamana. Comes to Patton, throws it on the inside. Robert Ralph. The cover came at him. Barrett got him from behind. Great break by Polamana. Now he forces it out to Ryan to Halligan. Halligan does well to stay in the field to play over the far side. It's all happening at Wynn Stadium, let me tell you. The Bulldogs looking for early points in the second half, looking for a try that will lock it up, and then maybe the boot of Halligan can get them the lead for the first time and give them that confidence they need to kick on. Back it goes down to Corey Hughes kicking into the in goal. Patton leads it. Oh, oh it's touch and go here. Try it. Well, Luke Patton stood there, wishing it over the dead ball line. Corey Hughes says, I'll have a crack at it, son. Well, he's chased up his own kick, hasn't he, Corey Hughes? But it was all done by Polamalla making that break in the middle of the field. He's now going to the video referee one more time. What do you reckon, Wiz, off the top? Mate, off the top, man, I haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting? <laughs> what? Oh, no I don't think it's a try. On the line? No try. No out. try. <laughs> Oh, so close. <laughs> Thanks for backing me up, Lance. Ooh, yeah. I'm solid, I'm solid. Yeah, solid as a rock, <laughs> mate. What? Oh. What? Oh. Right up, Pete. What's the line? No, I think that's no try. Mm -hmm. On the line, there's no try. Yeah. What's the line? <laughs> What's the line? Yeah, you're going good, Rob. <laughs> so close yet so far. No try. Plenty of feeling out there as well. We saw Willie Tillow and Will Robinson with a bit of push and charm. And Silver! Silver with the step! Silver! seen that happen before in a game of football. Never have I seen the ball go 30 metres up into the grandstand. What's what this? A, what about the step? Wilson, look at he got his hand back. That was going to be an absolute try for all money. 
I'll tell you what, if he missed the ball, he's knocked his head off. <laughs> <laughs> Best uppercut I've seen. What about the sidestep of a one-on-one? -on -one. He is absolutely unbelievable, Rod Silver. Great work, Silver, but great work here by Wilson. Oh, what an effort. <laughs> What about the change of his face, Laurie? <laughs> he was so happy going over the line, and then when he went to go put the ball down, it was just not the old clown face. Oh. Happy one minute, sad the next. 16 to 12, Illawarra over Canterbury. That's two letters for Illawarra. Early in the second half, Canterbury have to regroup. It was the best uppercut they've ever seen at Wynn Stadium, <laughs> that one. But now they have to try and Survive another onslaught, loose pass, Corey Hughes out to Willie Talao, the bounce was good, he picked it up, gave it to Lester, he scored one try in the first half, he's been a good winger for them this year, Gavin Lester. Matt Ryan gives it to Ward, charging onto Hetherington, Hetherington for the line, this time did they get it down, you better believe it, the doggies are in, it's locked up at 16 all, kick to come from next to the uprights, Hellingen will surely will land that one, so they'll get to the front for the first time. It's been the rev up, rev up of the year by Steve, folks. They've come out firing in the second half, Canterbury. Oh, I tell you what, well, Laurie Daly summed up the first half. This is the best part aspect of their game, the Canterbury side. Little short passes, and they just turn up back in each other up. Oh, it's great work. Barry Ward goes to the line. Short offload to Hetherington. Too much strength near the line. Puts it straight over near the post. Hellingham will have no trouble. I think two here, as you said before, and both of you said, they've got to run with support players. Hetherington's a, you know, he's just a great player all round. But again, not coming off the line as well. Andrew Hart just stood and waited for that. Perhaps he could have shut it down a little bit earlier. Halligan. There's the extra two. No doubt about that one. For the first time in the match, the Bulldogs, in a must-win situation, lead in the Warrior by 18 to 16. Hasn't had too many opportunities to really show his attacking flair today, Sean Timmons. That's good defence by the Bulldogs. They're fired up now. Possession at this stage. Illawarra 50% to Canterbury's 50. Time in their own half. Illawarra have been in there 10% more than Canterbury. And completions 14 out of 21. 16 out of 25. The bounce is cleaned up. What's it? It's a penalty. Penalty to Illawarra for the shoulder charge. He took, out, took him out. Yeah. He off. took a step. I don't know. He took I, a I step think that might have been, and took him out. been okay. I can't see much wrong with that. He's done well to milk the penalty, but he's entitled to just turn his back. I don't think he's actually went over and impeded his way. Two points in it at the moment. Ken Fitzgibbon lock it all up at 18 all. Waved away, and did they knock it on in goal? I think Steve Clark is going to have to consult with the touch judge, maybe even the video referee. We couldn't tell from back there. The ruling is a goal line dropout, boys. If he's interfered with play, it's a goal line dropout. It's a goal line dropout is the rule. If the touch judge interfered with play, it's a goal line dropout. That's the rule. That's the rule. All right, the ball. That's what the Kennedy That's players the are trying boy. to say. The, the got to be a goal on touch judge got the rope and touched the ball. Well, they couldn't pick it up and run it out. And as Stephen Clark told them on four occasions, if the touch judge impedes play, it's a goal line dropout. Oh. Illawarra. Trailing by two. Hart plays it. Callaway at dummy half to Will Robinson. Long ball, Barrett, short ball, and this is great work. They're in again. The Illawarra Steelers have opened them up out wide. Oh, magnificent play by the back line. Robinson, the long pass out to Barrett. And he found the support charging on. So they're back in front, Illawarra. Now, this caused it the touch judge getting into the play so the rule is it has to be a dropout and then one or two tackles in well that's just great hole running that 
unbelievable there. Adam Bristow's the man who scored. He ran right from the outside, ran straight into a beautiful hole. But once again, the young Will Robinson and Trent Barrett just picking up players at will. Well, this is much easier for Fitzgibbon now. Trying to convert Bristow's try. No trouble from there. Paul Amata shakes her head, knows that there's still more work to be done. 22-18, Illawarra over Canterbury. Needs to keep the charges going forward. Stone, back to Hetherington, back to Polamounta. Across to Travis Norton. Norton. Tried to get the pass inside, it's play on! Will it allow? Another try saving tackle from Patton for Illawarra, but it was touched by Illawarra. Silva! One metre out. They've got tackles to play with here, Canterbury. No need to panic. Now it goes to Troy Stone. Stone left it behind. It's knocked on. Sorry, Unbelievable Yoni. stuff. Stone going to the line. And you can just see the hand there of Craig Wilson. He's probably come up with another try, try save. It was going to be because he's pulled the ball out. This will give us a better view of it head on there. He's dead set right. The referee said, I thought a hand was in there. Craig Wilson's hands got hold of the ball and dragged that. Let's play on. It's a try. A try to Glenn Hughes. Just when it looked like Stone had lost the ball, there was an Illawarra hand in there. I'll tell you what, I've, seen, I've seen these rulers knock ons too, eh? I mean, it's going to be a very vital decision, this one. Oh, I think it's a try. It's dead, dead set strip. There's no doubt yep. about that. Well, that. This is the only way you can tell. There. Yeah, and that's what it is. He's, it? he's knocked it out. Yeah. But off. You don't have to see it once. I, I think the uh, video ref was the bloke that done our game last week who came in under some criticisms. It's a try. We're locked up at 22 all. John Yard, the video referee, giving Glenn Hughes the green light. 14 and a half minutes remaining, 22 all kick to come from Halligan. Yeah, the Canterbury side really doing exactly what Illawarra have been doing. This is the bust here by Travis Norton, who's had a pretty fine game. Here's the pass back inside. It's knocked down by Illawarra. Willie Taylor hits it with his knee, picks it up. That's play on. That's back to one. And then Watson will run out of dummy half here. The ball goes nice and wide. You see the Illawarra side the first time today. They start to slide before they went up. Yeah, exactly right, Wiz. I think on your line, you can't really afford to slide. You have to go up. There's the bench. They've got a smile on their face. It's there. Pelligan adds another two. This game certainly starting to fire up here. The Steelers. Wilson with a long kick. No one at home. They put a good chase on. Pelligan. might be right. It'll be a dropout. That was Same great right. thinking. How, how quick was he going? Fitzgibbon, unbelievable stuff there with the big second row playing out the centres. He was up against DJ though, Wiz. <laughs> Very fast winger is Daryl. <laughs> how close is this? Oh. oh. I'll tell you what, that was great. Well, sorry, mate, go on. That was great thinking from uh, Craig Wilson then, too, for that kick. He saw no one was at home. He was on tackle four, and he just put it away. Obviously teed up with uh, with uh, the centre then. Uh, what's his name Fitzgibbon. now? Fitzgibbon. <laughs> so you Changed go the centres around. Hasn't he handled going out the centres very well today, Fitzgibbon? Normally a back rower. But he showed all the skills of a centre out there today. He's running off some great passes from Barrett, though, isn't he? Yeah, and running good good angles, Pete. Yeah, exactly. So Hooper plays it. Robinson. Barrett. They're not easing off the Steelers. They're still red hot. Here's a penalty. A penalty to the Steelers. Don't go for goal, surely. 24-22. No. They can lock it up. Oh, no. I've got to, they've got to go for the win. And the crowd. Will Cronulla be spewing about this? So they'll be happy enough with a draw, but gee, the way things have gone here, there's still plenty of time remaining. <laughs> he'll, get it, he'll get it for sure. The flags are up. It's locked up here at Wynn Stadium, 24 all. Illawarra and Canterbury. They want to come away with a win, or they're very happy to go with the draw. I think the message might have come out, mate, just to complete the set of six. 
They know that they're in the semi-finals. Although he has pull him out. Hasn't got the legs to get away. Taken again by that man Patton. He's been solid at the back. Now it's Travis Norton. Norton. Ten out from the line. 30 seconds remaining on the clock. Polamanda, there's the one pointer. It's there. The Bulldogs are into the top ten playoffs in 1998. It has been an epic battle at Wynn Stadium in front of a record for 1998. 13,000 fans have turned up today. And Polamanda has got the one pointer. Oh, he'd be very happy. But the smart thing about this from, from Polamanda is that he took it on around about the third tackle, Laurie, and managed to get it over straight away. The players are complaining that he uh, touched the ball with their hand, but it doesn't matter anymore. And the siren sounds here. It's all over. In the end, it was just one point in it, 25 to 24.